Welcome to the next episode of this video series, on shortwave radio for beginners. In this video, I will show you how I built my radio shack, what accessories I use, and how I decorate it to make it more enjoyable and functional. Let's start. First, let's talk about the antenna and antenna configurations. As you may know, the antenna is the most important part of any radio setup, as it determines how well you can receive signals from different parts of the world. For my radio shack, I use a long wire antenna, which is a simple and effective antenna that consists of a long piece of wire connected to the radio. The longer the wire, the better the reception. I have about 10 meters of wire running from my window. One of the advantages of a long wire antenna is that it can receive signals from a wide range of frequencies, from low frequency to high frequency. However, sometimes I want to focus on specific bands, such as the air band, which is the frequency range used by aircraft and air traffic control. This band is usually between 108 and 137 MHz, and it requires a different type of antenna than the long wire. For this, I use a telescopic antenna, which is a collapsible antenna that I can extend or retract depending on the frequency I want to listen to. Sometimes, I also use my Max Sonline antenna amplifier for the air bands. However, this device may also produce a lot of noise, so I try to avoid it if possible and only use it occasionally. Now, let's move on to the devices that I use in my radio shack. The main device, of course, is the radio itself. I have several radios, but the ones that I use the most are the Texan R9700DX, the Texan PL880, and the Texan S2000. The Texan R9700DX is a portable analog radio that can receive signals from the short wave, medium wave, and FM bands. It has a built-in telescopic antenna, and it can also use an external antenna, such as the long wire. The Texan PL880 is another portable radio that can receive signals from the short wave, medium wave, and FM bands, as well as the long wave and the single sideband bands. It has a built-in telescopic antenna, and it can also use an external antenna, such as the long wire or the telescopic. It has a digital display that shows the frequency, the signal strength. The Texan S2000 is a desktop radio that can receive signals from the short wave, medium wave, and FM bands, as well as the air band and the single sideband bands. It has a built-in telescopic antenna, and it can also use an external antenna, such as the long wire or the discone. It has a large LCD display that shows the frequency, the signal strength, and the time. Next, let's talk about the accessories that I use in my radio shack. One of the most essential accessories is the headphone, which I use to listen to the signals more clearly and without disturbing others. I use a professional Sony MDR-1 Studio headphone that has a high quality sound and a comfortable fit. It also has a long and coiled cable that gives me enough freedom to move around the shack. Another accessory that I use is the light, which I need to see the controls and the displays of the devices, especially at night. I use a LED desk lamp that has a flexible arm and a dimmer switch, so I can adjust the brightness and the angle of the light according to my needs. I also use a red light filter that I can attach to the lamp, which helps me preserve my night vision and reduce the glare on the screen. A third accessory that I use is the pencil and logbook. This is where I write down the details of the stations that I hear, such as the frequency, the time, the language, the program, and the signal report. This helps me keep track of my listening activities, and also serves as a reference for future listening. Finally, let's talk about the decoration of my radio shack. One of the most important elements of the decoration is the radios themselves, which I arrange on a shelf or a table, according to their size, shape, and color. I like to have a variety of radios, 
from vintage to modern, from analog to digital, from portable to desktop. I think they add a lot of character and charm to the shack, and they also reflect my personal taste and style. Another element of the decoration is the frequencies, which I display on a poster or a chart, on the wall or on the desk. These are the frequencies of the shortwave bands, the amateur radio bands, the air band, and other bands that I listen to. They help me find the stations that I want to hear. A third element of the decoration is the background images, which I use to create a more pleasant and immersive atmosphere in the shack. The most common background image that I use is a world map, which shows the countries and regions that I can hear on the radio. I also use pins or stickers to mark the locations of the stations that I hear, and I draw lines or curves to indicate the propagation paths of the signals. This way, I can visualize the global reach of the radio, and I can also learn more about the geography and culture of the world. You may also be interested, on other videos on this channel about our adventures, and travel vlogs, from all around the world. See you next time. Comment below and thanks for watching.